guys, welcome back. Let's play Chrono Cross. Last time we got six more party members and then lost Harley as an active party member. This time, after breaking out of Viper Manor a couple episodes ago, we're heading right back in. And uh, even though we uh, cheesed our way in, we're still able to get right through. I think we need Norris for this now. But I'm still not sure. Anyway, he's in the party because I want to bring both uh, Norris and Karsh initially for what I have planned here. Meeting. Open the door. Now, I believe Norris is back in his room over here. And if you remember when we uh, left him a little while ago, he said to uh, come and see him sometime. I no longer need it. We received Norris's top shot, his level 7 tech. We have decided to withdraw from here. We'll be returning to the mainland in due course. Well, that's good to hear. Somehow we've gotten them to leave. Alright, let's take that. Now... I was surprised when we were in here before, and we were actually able to get it. But uh, we were able to come over to the other side here, and we were able to sneak into the... Uh, this is the wrong room, isn't it? Oh no, this is the right room. We were able to get into here early and pick up the uh, two items in there, one of which was a rainbow shell, the other was Viper's Venom. Viper's Venom is a unique sword only equipable by General Viper himself. And it's a relatively powerful weapon for him. It's better than the Silver Sword, and I would suspect it's probably better than the Stone Sword as well, though I don't have one for comparison. Uh, we finally have a Sword Wielder, and he's unable to use the Einlight. Yes, there, there goes that plan. Uh, well, we're in here. There's no save point in here. What am I doing? Something different about you. Okay, you don't say anything else. So you cut off the music there for some reason. All right, now that I've gotten in here, we can pop in here and we can get rid of uh, Norris. Are you awake yet? I'm pretty sure I know the trigger, but... Hey, you're still sleeping. Yeah, he sleeps for, like, the vast majority of the game. Uh, let's throw Zoa in there, because we can do something with him, too. Though it's on the other side, but whatever. Open the door, please. Open the door, please. Trying to get into uh, rooms with Fast Forward is difficult. Now here, it won't open. Only I can open that. And indeed he can. Receive Zoa's Toss and Spike, his level 7 tech. Get out of the way, kitty cat. So anyway, now that we've done that, I'm just going to throw Norris back in because he's actually equipped and Zoa is not. Can you please? Thank you. Now, getting the level 7 text just puts it at a slot in the, uh, in your element inventory, basically. And so, what you're going to have to do if you want to actually equip it is you're going to have to go in it first, usually, to find it right away, or not. Where is it? Oh, going on? Oh, I didn't get his. I'm stupid. Uh, let's go to a character I actually just got it for instead. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the top shot is his, and I can't use it. It's level 7. He doesn't have a level 7 tech slot, or a level 7 slot yet, but you have to place it in that slot yourself. Uh, negate physical, something I should throw on there. Now that I've got the uh, space for it. There's that. We've got the golem on there. 
You know what? Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it there. And I will put a, another thunderstorm up there. Not that I probably will ever use it, but that's fine. So that's how that works. And what I want to do. Right, um, fastest way upstairs. I'm trying to remember where I'm supposed to go because there's a lot of extra junk that you can do in here once you get access. One of them is going to get the, uh, the item from, uh, that we unlocked with whatever it was, the, uh, Shadow Forest there. But now that, uh, we chased off that mech that was here, and we defeated it with the help of Groivik, we are able to go in here. And we can go to the other side. This is the first time we've had access to this. And some kind of a puzzle here. Let's uh, let's look at this. It says, respect my behind. Interesting. I don't know why they have to reform the party each time you put one of them in. But placing all of those there gives you a treasure chest. Now, if you remember, it said, respect my behind. There's a letter inside. Good reason why we borrowed the contents. You want it back, come to the Isle of the Damned and bring Sir Karsh. Salt and pepper. Really? What are those idiots up to? Now, if you approached it from the front to try and get it, it's trapped. So you don't get it and you have to come all the way back around. But that's a nice fast way of getting me down here. And... I think I really want to go down there. I think it's faster to go up through here anyway, but uh, yeah, regardless, it, it gets you out of all the way upstairs faster than you would have otherwise been. Uh, the item that we want to pick up is probably easiest accessible from the... Uh, the... Would you open the fucking door? I hate the doors in this game. They hate me. Yeah, down here... Just pop right down here, and we freed up this treasure chest the last time. Uh, just slide over here to avoid anything falling on you. And it's a deluge element. Yay. For elements that I don't need. But it gives us a chance to listen to that great theme again, so that's good. Alright, so they're letting us out as Norris, which is nice. I don't know if they would have stopped us. I probably should have checked, but anyway. Alright. Let's basically continue with uh, what we were doing already and pick up some more text. Let's bring Orcho with us. And go into the wrong city. That's fine. Let's go homeworld. There we go. Now we go to Arnie Village. And we want to take Orcha in here to talk to this guy. Huh. So, uh, one, I guess one's the brother then. And, yeah, they talk like surfers and bro and bra and whatever. I don't care. <laughs> Not the bro that you think you know. Hard to explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come up with a new recipe. Why don't you try it out? Not bad. Receive dinner guest, his level 7 tech. Well, that was cool, I guess. Got some competition. Yay, more level 7 tech. We get a lot of them, and there's a lot of, like, little scenes that you can pick them up. Some do a good job of developing character. Others, like this one, are just kind of fluff. Um, 
So there's that. Let us throw Norris back in there since he's still equipped. And, well, when we did our daring escape, we picked up the prison key from Piper Manor in the other world. But we now know that there's this whole underground area that we can go to. No more glory. Now, get out of the way. Let me out. <laughs> I'm trying to remember where I'm supposed to go up here. I always forget because it's not obvious. Let me up. I know I can get up. There it is. I found it. I found it. Now he's in the way. Get out of the way. Found an entrance to the basement here. There's a sinkhole below. Let's drop in. And as you can see, the uh, in the bottom left there, there you're not able to get back up. Here, you're not able, you've never been able to climb back up. And the water is moving too fast for us to get any, well, we'll get here. I think we could get here. I wonder if that's not supposed to happen or not. I'm going to take it. Actually, no, I got to turn that off anyway. What am I doing? Because I got to get that treasure chest up there. So yeah, we'll get there eventually. We'll just drop down here for now. Same process as before. Uh, it's basically a repeat dungeon, but there are some new enemies floating around here as well. I don't think there's anything special to do out here this time. But I'll double check just to be sure. Yeah, it just lets you straight out, because this is, I think, the way we came up last time when we were here. I think there was a, a way that we had into this area. Let's uh, knock that down. Will allow us to go forward. Get stuck behind the thing, goes fast forward, thank you. Let's fight a bat. Didn't actually list any of the specs. But I'm pretty sure we've fought Alpha Bats before. I don't think they have that much HP, but I could be wrong. I gotta get uh, a Black Hole Bat on there. But until then, cats. Light Hook probably would have done more, but oh well. Yay, Chip Shot. All right, once I fight the next one of those, I'll go double check uh, a couple of things. Yeah, they drop iron. They're probably the same guys as before. Okay, there's nothing special about those bats, so don't worry about it. Um, let's see, I believe coming up here is helpful for an item. But yeah, the entire area is pretty much destroyed. That's locked. So close yet so far. Well... Now that we have the prison key, we can pop right in there and get a mithril vest. I don't know why we can get a mithril vest, but we can. We should return to the mainland soon. Well, that was interesting. But yeah, the reason for coming here now... Hey, where did that treasure chest go? I always find that amusing. The reason to come here now is after an upcoming side quest, we will be locked out of this area and it contains a unique item that we will not be able to get otherwise. And there's no other ones in the game aside from the ones that we already have. So we absolutely want to do it. Uh, the, item, the enemies here aren't particularly interesting, so I'm just going to avoid fighting them when possible. Go. We got through the door without running into him. Nice. There we go. So we will slow down the water there. And can I 
I sneak out? I can sneak out. So now we're basically stuck here. We can't do anything else. So in order to proceed, we actually need to leave. Out this way. Well, I didn't mean to run into those enemies, but as you can see, some decent stat ups, especially for Karsh. It's always nice to see. Got some nice ones for Norris too, and at least Surge got strength. As long as he gets strength, no problems. All right, now, go down, please. <laughs> now, all you gotta do is pop right back up here. And we actually need to drop into this spot again if we're going to get that item. The uh, first one we saw and get access to the other side with some other items in there too. But the important one is up here. I'm gonna do that drop, go up here and fight a new enemy. This one is, well, interesting. Well, oh, this isn't the one I thought it was. I didn't even look this one up. Well, it doesn't really matter, it's dead anyway, but I still need to put that on. I can take it with quick Bob. I don't think I'll ever use it, but I just like to put different elements there. Basically, any attack elements at this point in the game, other than maybe like the two main ones of the same elements innate of that character, I probably just won't be using them. It's all about buffs at this point. But this is the third and final revive. There are no more in the game. You miss it and you do the next side quest, you lose it. Let's find out what uh, what they have here. Nothing! No, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing special about them at all. There are a total of four items down here. We've already gotten the first two. Uh, let's wait for you to get out of the way. Go open this one. This is basically the same process as we saw before. Well, at least there were four enemies in that fight, so I could uh, have a nice uh, summon attack there. So that's nice. I'll take that. And we want to swap that around, which allows us to get through when we head down below. Sure, I'll fight him again. Sadly, only two enemies. No summon result. Usually the way I'd rather go. That at least gets me something. Uh, hold up. I want to go down here first. Go this way. I think there's another item over here. No, nope. still wrong. I don't know why I keep thinking that this is the way to get that other item. It's not. And it never seems to be. <laughs> keep thinking that that's how I get access to the item that's up there, but instead I need to do this. And with that, we get another of those weird dresses that I still don't care about. Down here, swap this. Yeah, it won't tighten anymore. But we want to open it instead. And there's bats everywhere. And, oh yeah, this would have given us access to coming in here, even if we didn't have the key. But we do have the key, so we can get there. Still funny. <laughs> all right, so did we get all the treasure chests in there, I think? Is it four? Did we get all four? I keep running into enemies, and they keep spawning with, like, one enemy. It's tedious. All right, I just made my way out off screen, and now we're back in the other world. We're in another world now. And there is another item here that you can only get now. This one requires you to bring either demi-humans or non-humans. So, as you can see, most of my characters are humans. We have one, two, three, four, and I'm not, I would guess Sprig is a demi-human. Either way, non-human. Starkey also counts, I believe, as does Pip and Groibic might. Let's try that. But yeah, most of our characters are definitely not. So we'll, we'll bring these two. Why not? You need to do this now, before an upcoming side quest. Watch out for humans hunting down demi -humans. 
Welcome to Marbule, the village of demi -humans. We warmly welcome all types of demi -humans. This is the guy that when we first got here as Surge, threw a rock at us because we were human. And we get the ugliest frame we've seen so far. That's hideous. But thank you. Again, must be done now. Uh, we're going to be doing a side quest relatively shortly that uh, will block that out and we won't be able to get it otherwise. Um, you can go to the Bend of Time in both worlds. I'm not 100% sure if the enemies that show up in these areas are unique to one world or another. But uh, I guess you could look into it. For the most part, it's not particularly important. I don't spend a lot of time there. But uh, anyway, so we did that. Now, last we heard, we were supposed to go to the Island of the Dam. That's where Salt and Pepar decided to uh, take whatever the contents of that treasure chest, uh, you know, they decided to take it here. So I'm going to get a party together with Karsh and Fargo ready because, well, we can steal things now, so we're going to be stealing things for a bit. Okay, he's all set for the most part. Let's go open our Smith Spear here and make him a sword. Uh, where is it? A stone sword. Now, you do have to uh, forge one for him if you want to use him, because even though we have a couple of unique swords, uh, namely Viper's Venom and the Eye Lancer, neither of them can be used by Fargo, so we're stuck with the uh, Stone Sword. Let's take a look at his uh, stats there. 50 to attack, not quite on par with some of our other characters, quite a bit behind uh, Link's at this point. But hopefully we'll get a little bit of a uh, little bit of a boost here going in here. And this is the one in another world. Remember, we snuck in here ever so briefly, got the first two items in this screen, and then we poofed on out of here because, well, we couldn't do anything. I don't think the airframes here are any different than the other ones. They might have slightly different health. But I do want to fight at least uh, one of these guys, because... Well, not only do I want to uh, show off Fargo, let's uh, give him Eagle Eye there. Let's see there. Yeah, I'm not great on the damage so far. There's no strength in on that, but yeah, it's not great. But he is still a fantastic character, primarily because of his pillage ability. Pillage allows us to steal, finally, and we've got cannonballs to take out uh, multiple enemies that we can't hear. We'll show it off. It's not something I use a whole lot, so. Admittedly, it looks pretty cool, even though it sucks. you please hit something? Anytime you don't use Eagle Eye, you just regret it instantly. Uh, there's Dragon Rider. I don't think I've shown this off, though we have seen him use it. Though that's been a while. But yeah, there's that. Sadly, we're still probably best off using uh, Surge to uh, fight most of the enemies. Surge does about as much with a number two hit as Fargo does with the number three, so that's great. Let's see what kind of stat up we get uh, for Fargo here, which is the primary reason why I wanted to bring him for uh, one fight before we go too far. And we got a seal off. Not bad. Alright. Let's take that, and the process of getting through here is basically the same as it was before. It's stuck on everything. Still can't get through the glass unless you use the, uh, whatever it is. All right, keepsake, and then you can indeed go through. Uh, I don't 
yeah, there's nothing down here, no white knight or anything like that. But there is indeed an item here, and it's in this little hole here. And I skipped over that. What the hell was it? Well, we got it. Can I go up the ladder, please? Thank you. And before heading in here... Okay, we're back. Uh, before coming in here, be ready. Because uh, we're going to be here for a bit. Harsh is required for this to uh, occur. Otherwise, I'm not sure if they're either not here or they just won't do anything. Now we heard something about an incident on the Isle of the Dam, something to do with Karsh. Came to investigate what happened here. You seem worried. You had a suspicion, did you? You killed Daria. They are executing me for the murder of Dario. We have a flashback. Young Riddell? Young Dario. For some reason, she doesn't get a portrait. Young Glenn, who already has that scar on his cheek for some reason. Kind of a measly, huh? Maybe we should go back and get one of those churros one of these days. Iron rations for knights. Shouldn't be overeating those. What have you brought us? Found them in Fossil Valley. We can identify that by what we saw earlier in the game. It's a bellflower. Did you go to that dangerous place by yourself? It's safe enough. There's only, you know, a giant skull there and a smaller skull that talks and it may not have been there at the time, you know, all the way back here, but still it's called Fossil Valley. I'm assuming it's full of bones. Not really the most, you know, safe feeling location you could possibly go to. Not even enough for everyone. Ben doesn't want it. Since you've gone through the trouble, I'll take one too. If I planted seed, it might get some good fruit. Uh, not the way that works, but okay. It will not. Don't know until you try. And young Karsh. And one for Dario. If you remember, it was uh, his favorite flower. Anything should happen to you. It should all go together. Now, while they're having their conversation, focus on, uh, on Karsh there. What? Did we just get a flashback within a flashback? What is this, Inception now? Stop it! Straightforward narrative, come on! Sp 
spit it out. Tell you the truth, those two have been engaged. Already told Daddy about it. Will you bless us with your approval? When's it gonna be, and where? Still need to finish surveying the Isle of the Damned first. We want the wedding here. A place where we cried together, laughed together, and shared our dreams together. You never change. Have to fill this dull vacant lot with loads of bellflowers. Just tell me if I can help in any way. I sense a love triangle. This must be it. Why are you in such a hurry? The footing here is bad. Yeah, it's full of bones. The Masamune may be in here. Ooh. Any Dragoon would be hyped to see that thing. Shaker Brothers, you stay here. I'm not sure whether they're actually brothers or if that's just kind of like a name for them. Because they're always being idiots together. Karsh and Dario enter in. They must have had the uh, keepsake. What? What happened? Was I really possessed by that devilish sword? Driven by such intense hatred and envy. Deep inside, I was filled with hatred. Dario, the one whom I could never beat, no matter how much I tried. The one who stole Riddell's heart from me. What if the sword does not embed hatred into the mind of a wielder, but instead draws out and ignites the flames of hatred? within the hearts of men. That hatred was something deep within the wielder to begin with. What have I done? Interesting. Well, you guys were right outside when it happened. Why the hell do I have to fight you guys? No time for questions. And we are forced into one more fight against Salt and Pepper. This is the final one. And for the first time, they get boss music. This is actually a boss fight. It's not the most difficult boss fight, but it is indeed a boss fight. Now, if you're struggling with this fight, there's a couple things that you can do. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to Eagle Eye Karsh. And... Then I am going to set out to build up enough accuracy here. Hopefully you don't attack Fargo so that I can steal from Pepper. Pepper has not a unique item, but an item that I wouldn't get until a lot later. Otherwise. So I want to try and grab that now. So Pepper has that one. Yes. Just double checking my notes to make sure I didn't steal from the wrong one. There we go. We get the forget me not pot. I will explain how that works a little later. And the uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to throw up diminish. Yes. These guys 
aren't as much of pushovers as they were before. I probably don't need Diminish quite yet. But, uh, anyway. There's that. He's going to set up Strengthen. They play up with the buffs like they always used to. Fargo, you can throw strength in on Karsh. And we'll do a couple defenses there. They get cross cut off. Interestingly enough with this tech, powerful against a blue innate for sure. But interesting thing enough is in the original version, I don't know about this one, there was a glitch with this one where even if one of them had already died, like the assault is already uh, sagging, even if one of them was dead, they could still get that off. So that's interesting. All right, we have Cure All here. Again, uh, this is blue innate only. Pretty uh, powerful to have here, so we can set that up and get uh, some really nice healing out of it. And let's uh, let's finish things off here. A couple more attacks. Yeah, you may want to set traps because they can use some decent uh, elements like Earthquake and then after that, Thunderstorm and lastly, even Golem. So you probably, well, they didn't do a lot of damage. We, they are under Diminish, but we probably don't want to deal with that, so we're going to go for Axial Axe here. We're going to take out one of them. Uh, apparently, they only use their uh, dual tech once, and then they won't use it again. But yeah, there's not, like, other than the fact that they're not a joke this time, there's nothing else really all that special about it. Let's uh, go for Glide Hook. enough. Fargo, finish things off. Or you can miss. That works, too. Needs to be what you're best at, along with everyone else. As you can see, they get a lot of attacks off. There we go. I had to miss, so he got, like, five attacks off because I missed. Otherwise, he would have been dead. What can you do? No uh, star level for this, as this is entirely optional. From going back to Viper Manor to coming here, entirely optional, entirely a side quest. Uh, Denoderite is the common drop. Stone Mail uh, from Pepor is the rare. Stone Vest from Solt is the rare. Uh, you can steal a Resistance Belt from Solt, but I don't care for that at all. And for doing this, we get Karsha's level 7 tech, Axiomatic. Karsh did not kill Dario. I know the time will come when I can speak the truth, but I can't just yet. Hope you understand. Come to an understanding after the battle we had. You are not an evil person. You would never kill your best friend. Looking back now, you were the one who took us under your wing, even though we were Dragoon outcasts, for obvious reasons. Now they believe us. There's a weird trend in this game where fighting someone makes you believe them. I'm not sure why that's the case, but it is. Hope to see you again sometime, somewhere. When that time comes, we hope you'll be ready to tell us what really happened. We're sorry we took this from you. We're going to give it back now. The Memento Pendant. One day I'll tell you the truth. That earthquake put us in sprain, which we should probably heal. And let's uh, go take a look for a sec. I know I haven't been in here very much to look at a lot of the key items that we've got. It's not what I expected the astral amulet to look like. Well, it's not very green, that's for sure. Flute actually looks really cool. I like the uh, design of the flute. A holy sword? 
I'm not sure how you decide to put a picture of a breath ability there, but there it is. A giant egg. The aroma pouch there. The manor key with a little uh, dragon, and I think that's a dragon insignia on it. The parlor key. Prison key. The star fragment, which is a literal star, and yet Starkey said it was part of his ship. Not sure how that works. The tear of hate. Shattered piece of the dragon tear. The station pass. And the memento pendant. A beautiful, intricately made pendant that once belonged to Dario's mother. Why it is said to be a memento of Garai will never be known, because they were too lazy to write anything for it. The Fiddler Crab is a very interesting thing in doodle. Safety gear looks like you would expect it to look, I guess. And a prop sword. Craze anatomy. <laughs> yeah, funny. Um, but had that show started at... Uh, would have been 1999. I don't know how old that show is. It's it's probably not still running. It's been forever. I never watched it, so I don't know. Anyway, revealing the wonders of the human body. Rated R. And the Smith Spirit allows us to uh, create them uh, weapons from wherever. So I didn't probably didn't have to go back and talk to. Uh, you know, have both Zappas talk to each other and do it there, but. I had to go and do the little quest there as is, or the little extra bit, so. Anyway, that's pretty much all the time we have for today. What can we do with that memento pendant, though? In order to do things with that, we need to start an entirely separate side quest in order to finish up the events of this side quest. Technically, you don't have to, but it makes it a lot easier. So anyway, we're going to go from, you know, flashbacks within flashbacks to side quests within side quests. Oh, well, pretty much all for this one. And I'll see you guys next time.